This is a Marcus. This is a Marcus. In the unauthorized use of this, this is a Marcus. This is a Marcus. In the unauthorized use of this, this is a Marcus. This is a Marcus. This is a Marcus. What's going on everybody out there, it's your boy Marcus Elbow man, welcome back to the Elbow Lab man, we finally done with the website elbowlab.com, please go check that out, uh, we got everything on there, we got tutorials, we got artists, we got all kind of stuff man, so don't trip, go check that out, man I'm just happy to be back doing tutorials man, I know it's been a while so I'm just going to jump right into it, this is going, I'm going to start with my Pro Tools uh, segment of my tutorials, we're going to start working with Pro Tools, I'm going to start you off slow, uh, this, this here uh, tutorial is going to be just a about how to you know arm a track how to get a track up in the pro tools uh you know some cats might already know how to do this but for the people that's just just starting don't really know what they're doing with pro tools i'm gonna show you how to create a track i'm gonna show you how to take a wave file and just fly it in if you already got a beat and you know what i'm saying just some real simple stuff you know what i mean uh excuse me so let's get started man i already got pro tools ready to go so once you get pro tools uh once you get it loaded up go to file we're going to go to new and we're just going to name it let's just call it uh let's call it test then we're going to call it number two because i already started on one before leave everything default uh let me make sure you can zoom in on that so you can see uh yeah just leave everything default uh you know 16 you know 24 bit whatever whatever uh sample rate 44.1 whatever and then let's go ahead and push save All right, here we go. Okay, oh boy, let's get started, man. Pro Tools, Pro Tools. Gotta love Pro Tools. Just started working with Pro Tools. Been working with Pro Tools for about a year, kind of the same time I started on Reasons. For all you guys that know uh, my tutorials and know uh, me from doing Reason tutorials, uh, I just started with software and I love it. I love working with software. I was always a hardware guy, but you know, since I started working with software, it's been great you know I've been able to do a lot of different things my editing uh, capability has shot through the roof and it's the same thing with Pro Tools and you can also work with reasons and Pro Tools together that's why I love Pro Tools but Pro Tools is like a universal program you can use it anywhere all the studios around the world use it if you're using it at home for pre-production you could take it to a studio and they could take everything that you've been doing at home and transfer that straight into a big studio so let's go ahead and get started I don't want to talk your head off uh, all right <clears throat> as you can see I got a couple of things going here uh, this right here is my mix window I kind of keep it docked here below uh, and then right here I have my edit window here at the top here okay uh, let's go ahead and uh, kind of go over some things uh, real quick the only thing that you really need to be concerned with right now is this is how you you know this is where you push play stop and all that for people that know how to record you already know that um, and you know I'm not even gonna go into all of it, man. All I want to tell you is let's just let's just let's just create a track real quick. All right, uh, go up here to track. Okay, go to new. Okay, once you do that, then you want to just you know let's just create you know one track. Uh, let's do it stereo because we're gonna fly a track in there and leave it as an audio track and leave it what sound so leave everything else default only thing you want to change is change it from mono to stereo and then push create okay there go your track right there okay we just created this track alright now if I go back up here to window and I push window and then I go to mix it's gonna bring back up the uh, it's gonna bring back up my mix window okay we can go ahead on and make that go ahead on and make that bigger okay all right there we go now we have our one track and you know it's a lot of things you can do man I mean uh, when you got a track up in uh, Pro Tools you can actually do a lot of things it's just like having you know being at the real studio if you want to add some inserts we can click here uh, we can click here we can go to multi-channel then we can go to dynamics and as you can see you go know, you got bomb factory compressors you got reverb delay uh, mods, you know, I mean, it's just so many different things you could do uh, that you can add in, and it's just as simple as going in and, and you know, and choosing one. 
and then once you choose one as you can see you know it brings up you know all your little knobs and gadgets everything is virtual uh it works just like in the real studio so man pro tools is pretty cool uh but for right now we're not going to do that so we're going to go ahead and just go with no insert and i just want to show you how to create a track everything on here is you know automated you got your your up and down for your level go you got your record you got your pan here you know if you want to pan left to right or whatever uh right here is your input you know wherever you're coming from if you're coming from you know three or four five six whatever this is where you control that your bus is something that we're going to talk about later on uh in the tutorials because actually this is how you can pull all the tracks that you make in reason into pro tools and you use your bus to uh designate where you want all that stuff to go so that's going to be something we're going to use in the future but for right now you know i just want to talk about really you know just getting the track up and it's simple I mean as you can see we knocked that out you know two minutes uh, let's go ahead on and bring in let's go ahead and bring in a wave file real quick and what it's gonna do is I'm just gonna make this smaller it's gonna actually create it's gonna actually create a track so let's go ahead and bring one in as you can see I already have a wave file up here on my desktop uh, Sean Rockers get money we're just gonna grab hold of that, click on it, and then we're just gonna drag it over into your uh, edit window here on the left and let it go. Bam! You know, we created a new track. Let's just go ahead and make the window bigger so you can see that. And that track is created. This is the wave, this right here is the wave file that we just created. And if I back out of that and I go up to my window and I click on uh, edit, it's gonna bring up my edit window, and here we go that's the track right there if I push play that track will play so yeah so let's just say you know you you're, you don't have a track and I mean you have a track but you you haven't did it in reasons or you haven't did it you know anywhere but you have a wave or somebody gave you a beat or you're doing a mixtape or whatever it's just as simple as you flying that entire track in and if you go up here to the top uh, this is how you expand you know and just make your your window smaller so if I click in as you can see I'm making it smaller or I can make it large this is just making it to where I can see everything that's going on and as you can see if you look up here this song is like four minutes you know four minutes and some change so uh, <clears throat> so you can start right now you can start recording right now you already have your track in there uh, you have one track here it's just as easy as you arming that track designating where you want the uh, input to come in at and you can start recording and then you just uh, go up here to the top go to new and you want to create some more tracks you just you know left click hold it down you can create you know seven tracks mono for vocals leave everything default push create and bam all of those tracks are there and you're ready to record however you want to do it you know you just start pushing record and you can start recording and it's just as simple as that you know if you want to go back to the mix window you can bring the mix window back up and there go all of those tracks you know what I'm saying I mean and we can still you know we can still go back and push uh, let's go back to the mix and then we can push play here and as you can see that track is right there you know, I can bring that down whatever so so yeah man that's just a quick tutorial on how to get your tracks up and how to create tracks inside of Pro Tools uh, and in the future we're gonna go over some different type of uh, icons all these icons and different type of things you could use to uh, you know make your life easier as you're working on the track and uh, that's the first tutorial back man and that's the first basic tutorial in Pro Tools I hope you liked it uh, please do not hesitate to comment and rate and let me know what you think about it if you need anything any additional tutorials uh, let me know this your boy Marcus Elbow checking out man and uh, don't forget go check out Elbow Lab uh, Go check out elbowlab.com and uh, check out some new music and all that stuff that we have up over there. All right. I'll holler at y'all later.